Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now I won this PC in an eBay auction the other day for just £5, that's around €6 Euros or seven US dollars. It had a few seconds to go when I put my bid in, so I didn't study the specs too carefully, I just thought that for this sort of money I'll find something to do with it. Little did I know that this would turn out to be a pretty weird desktop machine. If you saw my YouTube short the other day then you'll know what to expect, but let's talk about what's inside and give it a more in-depth test or try to. The first thing I noticed was the lack of RAM and power supply. I'm pretty sure I knew about the RAM and I've got a couple of spare PSUs lying around that'll work just fine. Except they won't. See it looks like there's space for a standard form factor power supply here doesn't it, but at the back there's a giant metal blanking plate. And no 24 pin power connector or 4 pin CPU connector on the motherboard. All we have is a Molex connector and a few spare SATA cables. Turns out that this ASUS machine is powered by one of these, a laptop charging brick. I thought someone had left this amongst the packaging by mistake but nope. We have a DC jack built right into the motherboard itself. Interesting. This is a 90 watt adapter which should be fine for the i3-4170 that's in here. I also decided to add 8 gigs of RAM just so that we could power it up and test it. You may have also noticed a PCIe graphics card slot which we'll be making use of shortly. Again, we'll try to. After a little research, it seems that some of these PCs shipped with a GT710, a low power card that, well, sucks for modern gaming, to put it plainly. I do wonder if those ones came with a slightly beefier adapter. As it is, this machine works fine. After a RAM upgrade, I added 8 gigs of 1600MHz DDR3 and it booted into life. This is as far as we got in my YouTube short. But I simply can't leave the graphics card slot unoccupied. I need to see if we can stick a GPU in here and whether or not it's going to work. With that in mind, I purchased an RTX 3056 gig, one of the most powerful low profile cards that doesn't require external power. Just plug and play, hopefully. Man, this looks so weird. A fully functional desktop PC without a traditional PSU inside is not something you see very often. Oh, did I say fully functional? Well, we better test that. Now, sure enough, we have life. The 3050 is a 70 watt card and the i3 is a 54 watt CPU. Our power supply, or laptop brick, is 90 watts. Now, I'm no mathematician, but it seems like we're not going to have life for very long, not when we start playing games. A 4th gen i3 and RTX 3050 is one heck of a mismatch, but I was more concerned with how long the machine would actually work for. After attaching an SSD and booting into Windows 10, I fired up Tomb Raider, an older game that works really well on this old 2-core, 4-thread CPU. Looking at the on-screen overlay, and it seems like both of our components are using around 90 watts combined. The CPU is consuming just over 30, and the 3050 is sucking down around 55 to 60. I wonder if that's being limited by our power supply, or it's just coincidence. That said, I'd expect the CPU to be using more than this normally, as it is working pretty hard here. I continued playing this game for about half an hour with no reported issues. And then it all went wrong. The next game I tried was Counter-Strike 2. I have no footage of this because the system actually turned off after a few minutes while I was still sitting in the main menu. Instead, here is a reconstruction of the confused face I pulled when the PC wouldn't switch on again. I unplugged everything, including the GPU, but the PC would not come back on. I even tried plugging in a 120 watt laptop power brick that I was told would work with this to see if the extra juice would kick it back into life, but nothing. Looks like we've cooked it. It certainly felt like it anyway. The 90 watt power adapter was hotter than the sun, which to be honest isn't that difficult here in the UK, but you get my point. I enjoyed what little time I had with this strange ASUS machine. I didn't expect it to completely die on me, but there we go. I'll give it a couple of hours and see if it wants to boot back up, but still, if not, I think we've definitely had at least £5 worth of fun with it. I'm glad this idea didn't catch on, uh, laptop power bricks powering desktop PCs, but I guess for this sort of system it was probably just fine, considering this one didn't even come with a GPU originally. But let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.